Hello everybody, Hype Mario Sunshine here. And we're back for some more Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Now, we oops, oh we broke the seal to this door right here, and these guys in this room were talking about how there's voices on the other side. Well, I mean, I think there's a little fan in here that also says it. In the piranha plant. Sometimes I hear the guy next door. He's always mumbling about this crystal thing and an evil vat. Isn't the crystal some kind of rock, of shiny rock or something? I've known I've seen one of those somewhere. And yes, let's enter in. Greetings. I am Culex. Dark Knight of Vanda. I have crossed into this dimension to fight for the Dark Mage. But this world is uninhabitable. For me and my kind, I must return to my own world. But before I go, though, I would like to challenge your strongest knight. Will you accept my challenge? You will enter combat against me. On guard! I am matter. I am anti-matter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time. And I will consume you! We have the super boss fight of the game, Culex. He's got four crystals that have extremely powerful attacks that come with it. And boy oh boy, this is a extremely hard boss fight. I do not remember how my fight went with, with him. So we're going to go haywire on him. Gino, Gino boost on yourself. So yeah, we have Peach with the Lazy Shell. She is meant to basically be invincible, so that she heals everyone, keeps everything all nice and tidy, all of that. Oh boy. Yeah, and it has Final Fantasy IV music. So yeah, you already know this fight is meant to be, like, extremely hard. If this attacks Peach... Oh no, attacks Mario? Okay. Peach... Group hug on everyone. Oh no. Whoa! What the hell is that? Mario, Rock Candy. Yeah, Rock Candy. I think it's like Star Candy, actually. Uh, and the other, like... Oh my god, that did one damage. It is Static E. Uh, Gino boost on Mario. Alright, let's hope that I'm, like, perfectly leveled for this, because this is uh, a little scary. Uh, Mario! Alright, this is not going to do shit to Peach. Uh, group hug. Shredder. What did that do? Alright, so... Gino... Pick me up on Mario. Oh, we got a freebie. Nice. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure which crystal is the deadliest one. Oh, uh, we might have to do Gino boost on Mario. Okay, still a flame wall, too. And that does a lot of damage. Holy shit. Blast does a lot of damage. Group hug again. Oh my god, that pierced Peach's defenses. Rock candy. Yeah, basically just throw everything at this guy. Because, yeah, this is an extremely hard fight. The green one, I think, is the weakest, obviously, so...
Yeah, this is honestly scary. I want to do this in one take. Alright, we might need heal up next. Water Blast, oh no. Yeah, this move has come back from the dead. Peach. Cure, cure, cola, actually. Oh, we got a freebie, nice. And Culex has Meteor Blast. Ugh. Okay, that okay, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Uh, Ice Bomb. Did no damage on the the blue crystal, so I guess we know which one is. Uh, well, I mean the red one probably is immune to fire, obviously. Geno Flash. Actually, no, Geno Blast. Actually, I'm pretty sure Geno Blast is actually more powerful than Flash. Ooh, the green one's down for the count. Also, the, I believe the, I'm not sure which one heals, but that one, but yeah, one of them does heal up Qlex himself, so, yeah, we gotta watch out for that. Oh, Geno's dead here. Yep. But never fear, Peach is here to revive him. Yeah, and also because Peach's stuff just costs so little, this makes it pretty easy to take him down. So I'm not sure what the Shredder does, the Shredder thing does actually. Mario, Firebomb. Got a freebie. Oh, nice. Gino, boost on yourself. Yeah, all the crystals tend to be a lot faster than... than, like, everyone, except for Gino. Mega Drain. Missed Peach entirely. They're, they're really trying to go for Peach here. Uh, Peach, Group Hug. Oh, Culex himself did some damage to Peach. Yeah, he's honestly really strong. Firebomb again. Geo boost on Mario? Because Mario was taking a lot of damage for some re weird reason. Ice Rock again. Is this going for Peach again? Bad move. Drain. Drain still exists? Or Oh, this one has... Why doesn't the blue crystal have water blast? I guess it's ice then? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, Yoshi cookie on the water crystal. Uh, what did Yoshi give us? A Yoshi candy. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright, let's just attack the water crystal. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Alright. And there goes the water crystal. Good. So we're doing some pretty good pace so far. Storm. Peach. Heal up everyone with group hug. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not group hug. Can you even put a crystal to sleep? Maybe? Shroom on yourself. Gino. Gino Flash again. 
I mean, it does a lot of damage, so. And it attacks a lot of them, so. Ooh, so I remember, I put, I remember having a really old video of my top 10 hardest Mario boss fights, and Culix was up there. And honestly, depending on how this fight goes, I might have to either put him up or put him lower. A lot lower. Honestly, you like, if you're playing really casual, then the list would make a lot more sense. But nowadays it doesn't really make sense because a lot of the boss fights are like easy to figure out, especially because of the internet. Like Danger Mario for Bone Tail, you just could destroy him by using Danger Mario. Like, everything just became a lot easier. I think the only one that isn't as easy is the the Mario Galaxy fight with Boltegeist, the or like anything perfect run related. Like you cannot get hit once. I think those are much more harder. Oh god. That's gotta hurt. Uh pick me up on Gino, I guess. Dark Star. Oh, yeah, this is the one I was talking about. Ma it's the opposite of Mal's Star Rain. It's Dark Star, and yeah, it does a quite a bit of damage to Peach. And we could get Mario to use a Royal Syrup. Geno, use Geno Flash. So, yeah, uh... This, yeah, so, uh, continuing with the boss fights, like, a lot of them are just a lot easier now, now that I've gotten older. I feel like that was more of a, a younger self kind of thing. I could still make a hard boss fight thing. Like, at least stuff in my opinion. Like, you know, what it means to me. Because obviously stuff like speedruns and whatnot make things easier or harder. So, like... Maybe I'm having more trouble with Bowser in the Sky now because it speedruns. I mean, I don't really speedrun Mario 64. I used to. I just get really unmotivated by it. Pope Wipe for power. But yeah, like, it, some stuff are, could be a lot easier. Some stuff could be a lot more harder. And there goes the Red Crystal. Uh... Okay, Mario's living. So... I'm actually surprised. We're like level 21 and like, we're handling this boss fight pretty easily. Alright, let's attack the Earth Crystal. Geno Flash. So if I have to remake it, maybe I will one day just to like, look back. I might have to replay a lot of Mario games though. I still think Kakaletta is still on there, but I might have to have the Princess Troop. Because it's not necessarily the fight itself, it's just how long it is. In my opinion. But yeah, anyways. We got Kulix down. He's got... Oh, he's starting to pack some punches now. Uh... Let's see how much that does. I still did some uh, quite a bit of damage. Peach group hug. Oh, I messed up the timing. Shredder again. I don't know what this thing does. Does it like get rid of any stat boost things? I don't know. Wow, you even pe pe I'm surprised that Peach did 90 damage. Holy shit. Uh. So yeah, I, I, I actually might make that, remake that list because uh, this boss fight got me pretty curious about that video. I might recheck it out. Dark Star, who's he using it on? That was on Gene. Oh, that like insta killed him. What the fuck? Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, we get the Final Fantasy fanfare. And yes, we have defeated Culex, the hardest boss fight in the game. 
Wow. First try, too. Bowser grew up to level 22 as well. And Mallow grew up to level 22 as well. Yeah. Ah! Your spirit is strong. Thank you, brave knight. I will treasure this memento of my journey here. Perhaps in another time, another game, we may have been mortal enemies. Let us part as comrades in arms. Take this treasure. It is a keepsake of our fight. We got the quartz charm. Farewell, champion knight. And the door disappears. And all we have left. Yeah, that boss fight is nothing nowadays. I don't like people put that. <laughs> What the hell does this thing do? I'm gonna search this up right now. Cause this looks dumb. Okay, so it's telling me shining swords of power deal 50% more damage, take 50% less damage, prevents insta death. What the fuck is this? Okay, never mind. This thing's actually really good. Let's give it to Gino, because why the hell not? Let's make him an unstoppable glass can- Not, not even a glass cannon. This thing make, makes you take 50% less damage. Like, literally, like, I don't care- How much does, how much does the amulet increase Gino's attack? 10. This thing, 50%. That means Gino gets 100 more attack. This is- busted <laughs> all right i guess that's it for today's episode of super mario rpg legend seven stars we've taken down something that many people considered hard but now i just feel like it's pretty easy especially if you just use the lazy shell strat i mean if you are trying to challenge yourself then yeah probably uh and probably yeah use any other strat actually before we go on i do want to find this a safe slot because I don't want to, like, somehow die randomly. I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But still, let's save in Mario's pad. But yeah, love my videos with that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, actually, we still have one more thing to do, and that is to find all of the, uh... The things that the... What's it? The what's it call it? Uh, told us to find. The three musky fears told us to find... Uh, their stuff that they hid and for us to sleep there once more and to bring us their flags. So anyways, see you guys in the next episode and then also in the episode we will likely head into XOR and into the world of